A coral reef is a scary place, and usually you know who your enemies are. That's why some animals work for others to gain protection. These neon gobies clean parasites off of the goliath grouper. This is an example of a symbiosis, which means that two organisms are living together. There are three kinds of symbioses. Mutualism, when both organisms benefit. Commensalism, when only one benefits while the other is unaffected. And parasitism, when one benefits while the other is harmed. This example is a mutualism because the grouper gets cleaned while the gobies get protected and fed. And so it was thought for this brittle star. These relatives of starfish clean sponges by eating particles off of their surfaces. They are usually found inside this gray tube sponge. In exchange for cleaning the sponge, the brittle star gets a home because if they are removed from the safety of the sponge, But something is strange. There are lots of other kinds of tube sponges that could be used as homes. But this brittle star only likes to live in the gray tube sponge. Why is that? Tim Hinkle, a graduate student in the Pollock lab, used the scientific method to answer this question. First, he ran an experiment to see if sponges grew more if they were cleaned by brittle stars. He went scuba diving and tagged lots of tube sponges to identify them, and he removed all of their brittle stars. Then, he added a single brittle star to half of them. After many months, he measured the sponges, and there was no difference in the growth of sponges with or without brittle stars. So, sponges do not seem to benefit from the brittle stars, and the symbiosis is not a mutualism. At the same time, he noticed that the gray tube sponge produces babies in the walls of his tubes and releases them through the tube openings. The other species of tube sponges don't do this. So, he did the same experiment as before, adding a brittle star to half the sponges, but he measured the number of babies each sponge released. And the sponges without brittle stars released more babies. But why would this be true? This question was answered when he put brittle stars in dishes under a microscope and added sponge babies. The babies were quickly eaten. And so, this symbiosis is not a mutualism or a commensalism. Brittle stars are mostly parasites of the grade 2 sponges in which they live. Sometimes, biologists misinterpret the complicated relationships between animals, and we need to use the scientific method to tease them apart.